Hello, it's Aki Anastasiu, and welcome to another episode of Astute with CBI. And it's brought to you by CBI Electric Low Voltage. We've been talking about smart homes, telling you about smart devices, telling you about how easy it is to install those smart devices, and just talking to you about the Internet of Things and how the world that we're living in, everything's getting connected to the inter in Internet, right? And we've got these smart devices all around us. In fact, the phone or the computer that you are watching this on is considered to be a smart device. So why not make everything smart around you in your home? And that's what we've been talking about and how easy it is to do that. But in today's episode, we will talk about how do you get the most out of these smart devices? Because yes, they do these things and they switch on and off, but there's way more to them than just turning them on and off. We'll talk about that. But I'm joined once again by an incredible panel of people. We've got Kriya Gangia, who's sitting right next to me, media personality you've seen on TV and looking fabulous. Hello, Hi, thank nice you. to see you, Nice Kriya. to see you as well. And Thanks. next to Priya is Larry Bonds, who's the product manager at CBI Electric. Hello, nice Hi. to see you too, and Hi. Larry. Hi. And right across me is Dr. Andrew Gioanu, who's the engineering and innovation business development manager. That is E I O E I O B D M. <laughs> the E I O B D M. <laughs> the, CBI Electric, the smartest guy here. Right? Um, but yeah, you know, we were just talking, and, and I'm, I'm loving the conversations we're having, and we hope you're enjoying them too on Facebook and uh, wherever you might be watching them on whichever social media platform. And do share them with your friends because it's such useful information. But you know, it's one thing to install the devices, and we've spoken about what is a smart device how easy it is to install a smart device, but how do you get the most out of your smart device? I mean, how do you get the most out of your smart device? Well, I'm loving the fact that I can control my pool. I think that's amazing. Yes. The Giza functionality is fabulous. Yes. I love the fact that you have a Giza that you can control um, through your phone. Um, and the lights, I think security-wise, mm. it's one of the things that I always get stressed about. If I'm on a shoot or whatever the yeah. case is, can't get home in time to turn on the lights, can just do it from my phone. And, and that is a huge positivity and security. And like you're saying, with, in today's times, is you're driving home. You don't want to get into a dark house. Yes. So on the way home, obviously not typing and driving, <laughs> take out your cell phone and switch on the lights. When you get in your house, the lights are on. You feel safe. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think that is a very good positive. Well, um, as, as you guys are talking, I was I just... Uh, on his gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just busy ch setting up my geezer because I see there's a bit of rain. Yes. And, um, and I've got solo at home, so I just okay. didn't want my geezer to be drawing power from, you know, so, I'll, I'll, and, and this is what I love about this. The timers are so useful here, guys. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm. How, how do they work? So you can schedule the timer uh, quite easily in the, the device. It gives you a scheduling option, or you can even do a countdown option. So let it switch on for an hour and then switch off automatically, or you can create a schedule um, according to the time of day or day of week, mm. which is very, very easy. Um, Furthermore to that, you can also um, integrate the, the weather patterns into there. So you can schedule, let's say, for instance, it's, it's a very sunny day. Uh, you know tomorrow will be a very sunny day, so you can set up your pool pump to, to, to switch on for a little bit longer. Well, well, hang on a second. Is that where you, is this ad scenario? Is that, yes. is that the thing? That's correct. correct. I just learned something new today. <laughs> so I can actually, if it's raining, and I know there's rain, I can, I can say my smart device mustn't switch on. Correct. Kriya. Check how cool this is. I mean, I didn't know this existed, but I can set my geezer and my timer to, you know, coordinate with the weather, with the weather schedule. Okay, schedules I understand. But Andrew, this is where these devices become really, really smart. Now you're adding intelligence to the device. The intelligence is, I'm going to use the word limitless in this. Um, I, I know you don't like this, but I'm going to bring it up again, and that's load shedding. Um, what we can do with these devices is that they monitor your energy. They, they measure actively your voltage and your current. Right. Every time we have a load shedding event, when the power switches back on, there is usually fluctuations in your voltage, either that it's too low or too high. And in many instances, for instance, your pool pump or your fridge, that low voltage or the very high voltage damages the compressor. Mm. Oh. That happens a couple of times, it's a problem. With these devices, because they measure voltage, as soon as power comes back on, you can say, wait, don't give power to my pool pump or my fridge. Wait for the voltage to be stable. So you can create a, if the voltage is between this So no range, spikes? No spikes. I love that. Okay, but you know, talking about load shedding, the one thing about load shedding is that 
you know, okay, mo most people don't have an inverter or backup power, right? Mm -hmm. So when, you're, when the load shedding happens, everything switches off. And in, that includes your router, right? Exactly. So these smart devices aren't smart. Uh, are you able to, how do you, how do you override the device? And my second question to that is, is it when that happens, does it sign you out of your account? Do you have to re-sign into your account? Or does this, for example, remember my username and password? So, so that is the positivity, Aki, is, is that it keeps all of your information. Even if the power has been off for a day, two, three days, it does not matter. All of that information obviously sits in the cloud. So as soon as the power comes back on, it will allow all of that information to be back on your phone. Your settings, your login details, your automations, your scenarios, all of that will still be there. So the biggest worry obviously is, is and I think that is something everybody is scared of, is what happens if I don't have internet? What happens if I don't have Wi-Fi? You can still go to the device and manually switch it on to ensure that you have hot water, to ensure your lights are coming on. So, so you don't need to be scared about that. I know we lose power more than internet, but if the internet is off, you are still able to just go up to the device and switch it on manually. Mm. Now tell us about the, the power monitoring because Kriya and I, I mean, Kriya's got it on her pool pump, which is mm -hmm. a, a lifesaver, mm -hmm. but I love the fact that you can actually um, measure and, and it actually tells you how much energy over a period of time that particular device is used. Yes, moreover, it also gives you a daily consumption, gives you a monthly consumption, and gives you a total consumption that each device has seen in its lifetime. So the visibility of the stuff is amazing. You can follow your own patterns and your own trends in your own personal life, mm. and that way you can optimize your energy according to your particular lifestyle. Now that is power that no yeah. one else can offer you. Now, I, I want to ask about something about Kriya, because Kriya was talking about her house in Cape Town, and she's got one in <laughs> Durban, <laughs> and two homes in Joburg, and then the, the, the New York penthouse that yes, she's talking course. about. Yes, I mean, are you, uh, how much can you actually add to this particular app? What happens if you've got, like, if you've got a, a home by the coast? Mm. So you can, in the same app, in your same profile that you've created, you can have multiple homes. So from the same platform, you can have a device installed here in Joburg, or let's say you have a house in Durban, a house in Cape Town. In there, you can create the different homes, and you're the owner of all those homes. So let's say you're traveling to, to your Cape Town home or wherever. Um, before you leave, you're like, yes, I need hot water on. Hold on. When you get there, you can have a lack of shower, carry on with your day. When you leave, you're like, oh, I forgot to switch your geese off. No, no problem. Off. So you can have multiple homes, no matter, let's say you have a, a home in Australia, you're still able to add it to your same CBR Home app, you can control it, you can monitor energy monitoring, you can measure the voltage, the current, everything else will work fine. And I'm not going to be like the dictator of the app either, because I'm not going to be the only one that has control. So if like my dad decides to go visit the house in Cape Town, he'll also be able to do it. Yes, for sure. So. In oh, you, mean, app, you mean if more people install, if you've got like five different people in your home, yes. can they all install that? So if the, the kids want to do it or the husband question. wants to do it. Yeah. So each person on their phone can create a profile and the homeowner can allow or add people to their particular home in that profile. Then you can assign them either user rights or administrator rights. Administrator rights allows them to control um, devices, um, change scenarios and also add other users. Um, and then if they just have user rights, then what they can do is just switch the devices on and off or create schedules. So the, it's really, name it, we've got it for you. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all wrapped up there. So people like me who don't have too many friends, we've got people like <laughs> Alexa in our homes and <laughs> Hello Siri in our homes. Are, are these, I mean, can you use voice commands with these particular technologies? Yes, there is. You, for instance, the Alexa, um, our devices can work with Alexa, so you can use voice command with them. So I can say, Alexa, turn on the geezer. Yes, correct. So some of the, the cool things that I've been doing is, is with our new Astute Smart Plug, I've in my house installed a lot of them where my bed lamps are, fans in my room. So every morning when I wake up at 5 o'clock, the lights come on. So there's nothing better than when you're waking up, you've got this light on in the area ready where you want to get dressed. I use it as an alarm clock. Or what I can also do that is, is, it's just a very cool thing. On my coffee machine, 
As soon as it's finished percolating, it he's sends got, me a message. He's got way too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's such a cool thing, the coffee yeah. machine. Isn't it the worst thing to like wake up and you're, oh, I'm going to switch on the coffee machine? Exactly. You've done this Great. automatically. Automatically you off the show, smart plug. You need to tell Kriya and I how you Yes, do please. <laughs> and like oil heaters in winter. There's nothing worse than going into your room and it's got this ice chill in it. So through my astute smart plug, what I do is, is I set the schedule so that when I go to bed, my room, room is warm. 12, 2 o'clock in the morning, switches off. Just before I get up, it comes back on again. Saving energy is what we need to do in this country. And yeah. it's such a huge part of our everyday life. And the smart plugs, the smart isolators, the controllers, it gives you that control to actually have comfort and take control of your energy usage. Yeah. Kriya, we need to get him to show us how to do the coffee, coffee machine. machine. Because, I mean, you know what? Without coffee in the morning, I, I, I'm dead, right? Mm. So how did you do the coffee one? So we'll pay you money for this. <laughs> <laughs> the other nice thing about it is, is besides the waking up, so the percolator perks, right? So my device can then actually just send me a notification to say the coffee's ready. What a nice perk. What? Perk, perk percolator. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Work with me, guys. See what you've done there, Aki. Oh, goodness. Can I turn him off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shade, throw him shade over Okay, here. that might be too smart. <laughs> so, yes, the, the more you start playing with these devices, the more smarter you get, the more smarter ideas you get. Yeah. Uh, another smart thing that I do with mine is my swimming pool. Monday to Friday, I never see it. But over the weekend, I'm there. So I want to see it running when I'm at home. Right. So Monday to Friday, I've got one time schedule. Saturday and Sunday, when I'm enjoying it, it's on another time schedule. Okay. Makes so it, it gives you so much customization of what you want to do. And that flexibility at the end of the day. And, and finally, uh, Andrew, I mean, where is this all going? Are we, I mean, take away your CBI hat off, you know, and look at in five years from now. Is everything going to be smart around us? I mean, things like opening your curtains, you can do that now, but okay. not all of us are doing mm -hmm. it. But I'm mm -hmm. just thinking about it now, I'd love to... You know, and how lazy can we get as human beings? <laughs> you wake up and you open my curtains and then they open automatically. But that's where it's going, right? Exactly. Yeah. Correct. And that's where this big drive of 4IR, the fourth industrial revolution, where are we going? What is everything? And IoT is only one portion of it. Everything is already connected, integrated. Everything talks to each other. People talk to each other. Machines talk to each other. Our astute smart range focuses on the residential home. We all have a home. We all live in a home. So what is 4IR for the homeowner? That's, that's where we're going. How do we make lives of everyone better, more convenient, allow them more time and more space to do and think about other things rather than worrying about, oh, did I switch my geese off? Mm -hmm. yeah. And adding incredible efficiency to the whole equation Great. over here. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's making your life a lot, a lot easier. Easy. So a big, big thank you to Kriya Gangia. Thank you for joining thank us. You. And uh, Larry is a great pleasure to welcome you. Larry Bond, thank you, the product manager. Again, thank you very much. Dr. Andrew Giovanni, engineering and innovation business development manager. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. And thank you for watching the series. I mean, I've just loved chatting to uh, the gentleman and the lady in the, in, in the house about these smart homes. And we're going to have a lot more episodes coming up in the future. But it's really incredibly easy to install these smart devices in your home, install them, set them up, and see how, how much of a difference it's going to make to your life. And they're so freely available. Just follow the links, go to the CBI website, see where their nearest retailer is that supplies the stuff and get it installed. And trust me, you're gonna say thank you. And if you have these devices installed, type in the comments below and tell us how it has changed your life. Just like this geezer, this astute smart controller. I tell you, I, I love this. This is like my favorite smart device ever. And I couldn't believe the price. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.